bibilin ba? Hindi niyo ba ako makita? Ayan, let her be right. <laughs> Hi, this is Myra Manibok and you're watching Confessions of a Singer. Ayan, ayun ako sa camera kahit masakit sa matay ilaw. You see what a little light can do, di ba? Kanina, ang dilim-dilim, you cannot see me. So, when you're in the dark, ganun talaga, the tendency is you cannot see anything or anyone, right? Um, I want to tell you a short story about a young boy who um, who was uh, born to be the chief of a small tribe. He's the son of the, the chief of that village. Now, um, to become the chief of the tribe, he has to go through a training. And part of that training was he needs to be left alone in a cave um, in the middle of the jungle where wild animals roam at night. So he had to be left alone at night, he had to, to spend overnight inside the cave. So he was brought to the cave, he was given a very sm small knife, a small knife to protect himself. So the kid was really scared, the boy was really scared, he was around 12, 13 years old, he was really scared and he was clutching the knife tightly and um, of course he's sweating uh, profusely, he's really He's waiting for an, uh, any animal that would attack him. And then dawn came and uh, the cave filled with light. Slowly, uh, the, the cave got filled with light and he saw a looming shadow of a very big man. So when he turned around, he saw his father. Because the cave was so dark, he didn't realize that his father was there all along watching over him. Kahit ganun din eh, diba, sa buhay natin. Um, when we're in the dark, we don't realize that God is there. We don't realize that God is with us. He's watching over us. But He's always there. He never leaves us. Even when you're in the dark or whether you're happy. Because sometimes we just realize God's presence when we're blessed when we're, when we're blessed abundantly or naka-receive ka ng, ng blessing or pag masaya ka sa buhay mo pero during hard times during uh, dark times we forget or we question or sometimes we even doubt God's presence but you know God has a hotline it's Jeremiah 33 3 ang sabi niya doon whoever calls to me I will answer. If you call to me, I will answer. Diba? Ang sarap. So, mabuti pa yung bata, yung pamangkin ko, na two years old, alam niya that it's just one call away. That's God. It's just one call away. And he'll be there to save the day. Superman's got nothing in him because he's only one call away. Okay? Well, I want to pray for you, so let me pray for you. Dear God, Heavenly Father, I lift up to you. Everyone who's watching this video right now, please bless them. If they are going through difficulties in their lives, comfort them. Allow them to feel your presence and your embrace. And help them realize that this too shall pass because you are in control. And no matter how big their problems are, you are always bigger than their problems, Lord. Please bless them with financial blessings, abundance in their lives, good health, peace of mind, peace of heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, this is Myra Manibo. Thank you for watching Confessions of a Sinner. And see you again next week. Bye!